Hello again everybody at Vintage Iron Range Dirt Track Racing. I am here today at Harry Hansen's race shop. Do an interview with him. Uh, Harry, how are you doing today? Well, not too bad. Just fighting a little cold this time of year. But... Aren't we all? Yeah. It's uh, good to see you again. Uh, Harry, how did you get interested in racing? Well, I'll start with my, uh, my cousin was racing and my dad got a bet from him that he couldn't race and my dad started racing well then I picked up on it and I thought it was pretty cool so I ended up getting into it through that way. And you raced for a short period of time here on the Iron Range as a kid before you moved away? Yeah and my first year was in Hibbing in a 61 Falcon six-cylinder class. And then you ended up living in California for a short period yep, of time? I went to California for about a year and a half. I raced sprint cars out there about five six times really looked sucked at it so I, <laughs> we came back here and then uh, I ended up buying a super stock because it was just too far to travel with the sprint cars. When you were in California where did you race sprint cars at? I mostly went to Ascot Park uh, I think it's a parking lot now or a shopping center but it was one of the most famous uh, dirt tracks in California yeah, and they're in El Centro a couple of times so it was, okay. all the big hitters were out there. And then uh, one thing and that one thing happened after another. You're back here racing, and uh, w what class did you race when you moved back to this area? I ended up getting a super stock, so I went to race teaming in a super stock for two years, and then I bought a late model from Bruce Nini, and from there on, it's I've been in late models, I guess 40, 40 years now. Okay. When you were younger, racing around the Iron Range, were there any racers that you looked up to? Yeah, I like like Leon Plank, and of course everybody liked Tom Nesbitt. I mean, you know, how couldn't you like him? Yep, yep. But yeah, uh, Dave Bjorgi was one of my heroes. I kind of, hopefully I could be as fast as he was. And, uh, but yeah, I got to race against some of the bigger name guys in the whole area that nobody had a chance to race with, so it was, it's was it been a pretty cool career. Okay. Um, do you remember your first race win where what when uh he's i think it was i think it was in hibbing i don't know how many years ago it's got to be 39 years ago i suppose 38 years ago I in late models yeah it was the first time i won a i think i won a semi feature or something in a super stock but okay well, it was my first feature with the late model that must have felt pretty good yeah it was awesome i think i went to mr nix and spent the whole check on drinking that day. definitely celebrated <laughs> Uh, I, now I remember you were number 97 mm -hmm. and then seven, you also had a number X thrown in there for a short period of time. Uh, how did you come up with those numbers and why did you change those numbers? Well, the 97 was a guy from Duluth was Dick Wilhelm. I don't know if anybody remembers the old days, but, mm -hmm. uh, I kind of liked that number. My dad liked it, but so I put that on my car. Well, then we, uh. I forget what happened, but we had another car, and we came out Labor Day one year with a new Rayburn car, and we didn't have time to get it lettered, so we just put the letter X on it just to race it for the weekend. Well, it ended up, it looked pretty cool, so we ran that X for another year, and we blew 10 motors the same the year we had X on the car, so that was the end of the X car, and then we went to 7. So the X was definitely bad luck for you. Yeah, X was bad luck, yeah. So why did you change to just number 7? Well, we had a lot more room for sponsors. And, okay. Uh, it looked kind of cool. Okay. Um, throughout the your career in late models, what all types of cars did you race? Like when you started out, did you run just stock cars that were made into late models? Or were uh, they fabricated chassis at, at that point? Actually, my first late model was uh, Stock Car Products. Uh, Bruce Nini had that one. And then I went from there to uh, when Jeff Hinkemeyer was running the Sanger car. I bought the car from him. Mm -hmm. So I've always had factory made cars. I never, other than the super stock, was kind of a. What other other. type? What other type of chassis did you race then throughout your career? Well, I had that uh, uh, Sanger car. Then I went to a Rayburn car. Then I went to a Bullet car, and then I believe I went to a Master Built, and then to a Rocket, and then uh, ended up with a Capital car as my last one. So you definitely. Uh, tried a lot of them on for size throughout the years yeah they were uh, you know you think one's always faster than the other and the grass is always greener theory yeah you know and it ends up being just something a little different I don't know, that's all was there any one uh 
car in particular that was your favorite that you felt just fit you like a glove? Yeah, my first master built that I got from Jimmy Mars. It was a two by three chassis. It was a little heavier. But he always told me, he says, just keep running this car. He says, the first year it's good, second year it gets better, third year it's going to really be good, and the fourth year you're going to fly. Well, the fourth year we won a ton of money with the car, so we ended up winning the Wissold 100 with it and the Race of Champions with it. And we won a lot of won a lot of races with it. Yeah, I, I remember that Wissold 100 win. That car was spot on. I remember down in the pits afterwards, Bobby Girardi standing by your car, and I remember him saying that the Rangers ride again. Yeah, was, yeah, the that, North is back. As a matter of yeah. fact, he got so excited, I think he got a bloody nose. He hit himself in the nose <laughs> in the grandstands. He was so excited. That definitely gave me goosebumps, though. So. Yeah, that was a great time. All right. Well, this concludes our first segment of our interview with Evelis Harry Hansen. Stay tuned for part two.